Hello everyone, it is I, Pioneer, finally doing my long-awaited review for these Warhammer minifigs I reviewed almost a month back. Uh, I did the unboxing here with the rest of my Warhammer stuff that I got, uh, but afterwards I didn't really do anything with these guys. I eventually finally built them up, building them up, because these were all in their little bag, it's all pieced apart. So, that was actually a really real fun thing, uh, of putting together some Lego figures, as these are custom minifigures, these aren't official Legos, these are custom made. Just for anybody who's wondering what not. Uh, but overall, they're actually pretty good. Uh, what's it called? Uh, as for someone who is barely getting into like the whole what's it called Warhammer stuff and whatnot, uh, and the fact that I still haven't got any of the, my any of my painting stuff or whatnot for my other minifigs that I've yet to open or whatnot because I'm leaving those uh, sealed up yet in the in their boxes and whatnot until until I get my proper tools and whatnot for that because. For those, I need actual paint. Oh, well, not actual paint. I need different type of paint for the Warhammer minifigs. I can't use my paints that I use for my Gundams, so or any of my other figure for other customs. And I can't use any of my other brushes because what's called they're not meant for the Warhammer minifigs. So in the meantime, while well, I eventually get some of those and whatnot because uh, money's on tight and whatnot, I kind of want to budget everything. Uh, what's it called? So getting these guys for like temporary base just to have. Right there, minifigs already built up that aren't my Joy Toy figures or my other uh, bigger figures, which I forget what, the, what brand the other Warhammer ones that I have. But with that out of the way, let's go with reviewing each individual Space Marine. And hopefully, I get their names right because that's probably something I'm probably going to get corrected in the comment section af after this video is out. And we're back, and let's start off with probably the face. I guess you would call Face of the Franchise. What do they call? What do they call this? What do they call the Ultramarines of Face of the Franchise? Kind of, yeah. This right here is the uh, custom. Like I said, these are custom-made Legos. They're not official brand, so so there's that. If you are trying to find them, Amazon is where I got these. Uh, the price right here was like thirty bucks. But overall, not bad. Overall, see right here. Uh, this right here is a Space uh, Mini Lego. Everything's built up. Everything is attached onto this like piece parts, which was pretty fine. See right here, detail works actually pretty nice. The sculpting is pretty good. The printing is nice overall. Uh, I am happy finally owning some Warhammer stuff that I've been getting to the franchise like little by little. And then having two major Warhammer friends who know the whole thing kind of works out well for me. So let's go dismantle because you can take all these off. Like the backpack right here comes off pretty easily. The helmet right here. I can see the printing for the Space Marine right there. I'm no. I'm pretty sure this might be Titus, might be not. Not too sure about that. But the helmet fits work uh, very well. Like the print, like whoever did these, I just kind of knew what they did. That was pretty nice. Uh, the shoulder comes off a little bit. It's uh, a little bit tugging right there, right there. As these are all kind of like on peg points, so taking these off is pretty easy. I'm not gonna do this for everybody, but I'm gonna show you how these are kind of put together. It's all armored, so just purge these off. You can also take off the weaponry. I can see right here we got a small, tiny bolter. Uh, very small compared to the uh, bolters from my Joe Toy figures. Then we have bigger bolter rifle right here. All in detail work, which I should pretty like. The reviews were these, uh, I will say, were kind of like mixed. Uh, what's it called? Uh, like half of these, like uh, for the people who like got these sometimes in the, in the packaging, some pieces were left left alone or weren't there like the armors or shoulder or whatnot <sighs> trying to do it do apologize if i'm seeing this a little bit more trying to purge the space marine from his armor apparently he doesn't want to as a space marine he's proud of his armor but i just need it to purge a bit yeah so just know a lot of his armor is all attached onto it you can see a little bit right there the armor's being a little bit stubborn. Like, I guess once you put these on here, they're a little bit tough to remove. What's... No, because this doesn't come off. Pretty sure that doesn't come off. Uh, but we can... Uh, pretty sure we can take off the feet ones. A little bit. Well, these feet ones are stuck, too. Well... I would just know uh, the feet armor are themselves. Uh, all of this has printed and whatnot, but apparently it's being stubborn. So, oh wait, we can just aha! There we go. 
my brain was just remembering how to take this all off. And I remember like chest piece right here is all removable, whatnot. So you have the printing right there. So now with the chest pieces off, boom, boom. Yep, careful, careful. I don't want to break this. I'm trying to find replacement parts is like I probably have to buy another pack. But overall, you can see the printing right there. And then you got here, which just mantles the waste part for this right here. It's no problem at all. I might do a little I was doing like a little bit cutting and whatnot to like make this a little bit better. And then we have the armor pieces, which I'll say the leg piece is probably the only thing I'm probably being a little bit stubborn. But I kind of don't want to force this. Like I said, I don't want to break these. It, it's mantling. Like, I'm not going to do this for everybody. I'm just going to show you off. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to show off how all these guys are put together. Like, all these guys are basically built the same way. If anything else, I'll probably just might remove the helmet. Well, if I can remove the helmet. I know some of these probably helmets are stuck on there. But showing off how the body is uh, by itself. See right there. Or have a minifig, all the printing looks good or whatnot. It's not bad, not bad at all. Whoever did these actually did the work and whatnot. And actually, I am kind of happy about that. Overall, the printing for this is pretty good. Now, as somebody who's has been into Lego and like so long, what's it called? It's kind of fun to go back to this. So, this is the Space Marine right here. Let's move everybody off for a bit off the little thing right here. I will say there might be some things I might be a little bit stuck on. Like the plates things sometimes on the feet don't fully stuck on. I was going to do some uh, payment or whatnot. So this right here is the Space Marine. It was just basically his, I guess you would call it tech suit. Well, in Halo we call it a tech suit because that would be what's under the plate armor. And you have basically everything right here. His armor and stuff when you build this. Oh, it's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. As somebody who loves building stuff, this is actually pretty fun. You got the feet armor, all the legs, whatnot. Then you have the base weaponry right here that they usually come with. Overall, not bad at all. And the detail work and everything else is pretty good. I actually really do enjoy this. Uh, like I said, this one right here is an Ultramarine. Or, uh, basically, these are the uh, the poster boys for the franchise. Uh, though I do know other people probably say otherwise about what they're called. These are the ones that are most recognizable between out of everybody. The... The Space Marines or, or the Blueberries for the memes or uh, other names that they tend to give them or whatnot. But overall, I really, really do like this. Uh, now let's go put back my Space Marine back together. First things first, put the waist back on. Hoping I'm putting that back on the right place, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I am. So feet goes first. Touch right there. Now we... Showing you guys how to build this. Then the legs go next. They go into these slots right here. Just gotta be careful you don't, what's called, accidentally break these. Slot right there, right there. Overall, pretty nice. Going so far. Take off the head first because uh, we gotta do the arms. Attach the arm armor right here. Now, I will say this, the armor, they're not detailed themselves, only the printing on the body is. So if you wanna do a little bit more detail work, you probably you probably can and I probably will I'll probably do any some panel lining just to like give these a little bit more detail now time to attach the top armor which goes right here there you go then you reattach the head right there and overall looking over the space where it's almost almost complete reattached everything back now, let's hope I don't fuck up with the shoulder mounts because that might be a thing that I might get crucified for <laughs> because I know people's like nope you put it on the wrong side one's going to be on the left the other one's going to be right now I might get crucified on putting the shoulder pauldrons, but if I am, I'll probably tell my friend which side was it, or you guys can tell me uh, if I need to swap them side by side. If not, I can just go look up a picture of what this base Space Marine has their stuff on. But I'll probably do that later. And then we touch the helmet. I don't know. Helmet's looking good. Deals well. I'll probably do some panel lining the helmet and give it a, look, a little bit black here and whatnot. Then last but not least, let's attach the backpack. Overall, pretty nice. Ooh. Probably gets attached. There's also a peg point here for extra attachments. That might be for like different weaponry or whatnot. Which might be like the mount and whatnot. And then last but not least, we attach the weaponry. Which last time we saw, the mini bolter right here. 
See right there, pretty nice. All it's silver, whatnot, which is actually not bad. We attach one weapon right there. And then we attach the bolt to rifle. See right there, over here. And boom. The Space Marines back with my with his full armor, full weaponry, and ready to fight Xenos, heretics, and you know everything else. But going from the Space Marines, let's go with the rest of the boys. I'm not gonna do the detail the uh, breakdown because they're all basically the same. Just the only difference is uh, different colors and maybe some different heads. I'll probably show off the heads differently because some of these face plates are kind of different. Uh, like I said before, some of these plates don't go very well on, so they'll fall. I'll just go with everybody else. Going from left to right, we have some white. We have white scar unit right here. Overall, same detail work is pretty nice. All everything else, the markings are pretty good. Weapon rays always nice. We have a plasma rifle, plasma pistol, plasma rifle. Pretty sure. If not, you'll tell me. Ooh. And we have here both the machine gun right here. Machine gun or shotgun? I'm pretty sure this is the both uh, heavy rifle or something. And go back to playing Space Marine 2 just to remind myself. Uh, overall, you tell me work for this is pretty nice. I'll probably do some panel lining on this also as well later down the line because you see there's going to be needing some panel lining for this. Overall, pretty nice figure for the white scars. Uh, and I already lost the plate. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's going to be something. I can always put them out of the way. Next, we got some Imperial Fist right here. Here is Rogel Thorn's unit with a chain sword and a bolter right here. Oh, oh, hands falling off. Don't worry. Put that back. There we go. Overall, pretty nice unit. Uh, detail works nice. Printing's good. Like I said before, all the uh, under base armor stuff is basically the same thing you saw with the uh, Space Marine. Uh, overall, pretty nice. The only thing I probably will do later down the line is do some panel lining, like I said. Everybody here kind of needs panel lining. At least the ones with the lighter colors kind of do like need the panel lining. Overall, pretty nice. Next, we got a... I'm pretty sure this is a Dark Angel. Right here. This is not a Salamander, I know, because it doesn't have the markings. I'm pretty sure this is a Dark Angel. Right here, this is green whatnot. I'm also pretty sure some of these are sergeant units from at least what my friend says with the axe points. I might be wrong. You can correct me with that later down the line. But we're all pretty nice. I will say most of these guys do have, like on the chest right here, this is like two parts pieces that kind of go on. Uh, only two of the, the other two units don't have this. They're just printed on the armor. Which I kind of feel like might have been like, eh, it's fine. But overall, it's not that bad. See right here, it's got the detail work for this. Overall, Dark Angel looks pretty nice. It's a plasma rifle and chain sword. The detail work is pretty great. Overall, really liking this guy. Next, we go with the Black Templars. With their space power, with the power hammer and another bolter right here. Uh, you can see a little bit of the white being faded out and whatnot, but you know what? I kind of like it. It's kind of like the detail work. This one's got really good detail work on the shoulders with all of its mark insignias. Not bad at all. Also, this is the one I was talking about where the other ones have like a actual plastic piece right here. Whereas this one right here has has it printed on the armor. So that's the difference between these. Oof. Overall, the detailing is pretty great. The weaponry is actually pretty good for all these. Some of these weapons had to be uh, were on other runners, so they came with it. So. I was able to build this together. The power hammer was one that was a different run that I had to build that on. Next we got... I'm hoping I'm remembering the goddamn name... Blood... Angel. Yes, Blood Angel. I'm pretty sure this is a Blood Angel. Uh, it was the mark in the one I was... Because this has the wings and the blood. I'm pretty sure this is Blood Angel. Gotta remember the red units. If I don't, I'm gonna be a failure with this. If I'm wrong, correct me. Like I said before... I'm pretty sure this is a Blood Angel. I'm pretty sure also this is a Sergeant Unit too because of how the helmet is. Uh, can I? Can this, there we go. It's a little bit more in focus and whatnot. That's the other thing too about this. Overall, the detail work is pretty nice. Uh, I know this probably not it goes towards one on one with Blood Angel markings and whatnot, but 
Pretty sure this is Blood Angel. Overall, the detail work is pretty nice. Uh, this one right here has the sh shotgun. I forget the name for the shotgun. And a regular mini bolter. Usual sidearms. Overall, detail work is nice. The only thing I do might be some panel money for this guy, too. And then, last but not least, going from Blood Angel to Blood Raven. Which I'm pretty sure is the Blood Raven. It's a different wing insignia, so for both of them right here. Uh, what's it called? Is I'm pretty sure. Uh, they might have, like, different... They might, like, legit all the colors that everybody else. Uh, I might not be the best with Warhammer when it comes to, like, knowing all the uh, starter units and whatnot, but I should be at least somewhat fairly knowledgeable. If not, I'll be ripped into by my friends who are knowledgeable about this. Overall, detail... Oh, no. Okay, Chris is a bird. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. I dropped it and the uh, right hand popped, actually popped off the hand and flew. I'm just glad I knew, I heard where it, where it kind of hit and I was able to find it. Because if not, that was going to annoy the f crap out of me if that flew away and not being able to find it. Because that would be so much annoying. But back towards uh, the little tiny review overall, the, this is Blood Raven, right? Yeah, Blood Raven. Overall detail works pretty nice. Once again, overall pretty good. Especially for like these uh, custom units for people that make. Overall, pretty nice. Pretty is good. Everything's also nice. The weapons look good. Overall, pretty great. I am really enjoying all these units. And we're back. And overall, that is the overview for all the uh, custom Lego uh, Space Marines that I got. Overall, they're pretty nice. Uh, the detail detailing work is all great. The uh, sculpting is pretty nice. The printing is pretty good. The coloring is all great. Overall, I think these are pretty good uh, minifigs. I got these on Amazon for like 30 bucks when I was looking for uh, actual space uh, Warhammer 40k uh, minifig, uh, minifigs. Uh, not, I was only able to find actually a couple of things, other ones overpriced. But I saw these and I was like, you know what, it's sick. I've been in 40k and also been into Lego as of late, so I've been wanting to like try to get both and getting these at the same time was pretty great. One thing I will say in the, in the reviews for these, uh, there were some scathing reviews with. Uh, when you're built, because these are built separately, so like I showed with uh, when I disassembled the uh, Ultramarine, uh, without the armor and without some of the armor pieces, you had to build it up together. There were some pieces missing, like some arm pieces, some leg pieces, or some pieces being like doubles of the same one, like double left hands or double right hands, and not basically being the same. But for mines, everything was actually there, everything was perfect. I had all the pieces, whatnot, so nothing was missing overall. And yeah, uh, the price, and the other thing too, people kind of don dogged on it was the price uh, for the 70 these guys right here. Uh, it's like 30 bucks for all seven of them. But I kind of feel, is it worth it for 30 bucks? Eh, yeah. If you have the money to down for it, and if you're going for, uh, you want some Lego Warhammer minifigs, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. You can start your own mini collection and whatnot, and probably get a good amount of these. Um, I liked it. Uh, and overall, they're pretty great, especially for someone like me who's barely into the franchise and whatnot, and who has yet to even start painting my own minifigs, the, oh, the actual minifigs that I do have, because I've yet to start painting those. Uh, getting these for temporary base just to have them there, so I have like my own uh, collection of Space Marines, it's pretty nice. And these are a good set starter set for like the, uh, so you get to know uh, the factions for the uh, each of the chapters, which is actually not bad at all. As this comes with the Ultramarines, the Imperial Fist, uh, White Scars, Blood Angels, Blood Ravens, Dark, Dark, Dark Angels, and the Black Templars. Uh, good, uh, good chapters that are pretty well known through the franchise, especially for even beginners who know them uh, through other media and whatnot. Uh, but overall, pretty great, uh, pretty great minifigs. I'm really glad I got them. You can get these on Amazon, like I said, for thirty bucks. But depending on if they're on sale or whatnot, I'll probably try to get them on cheaper. Um, but overall, pretty great uh, minifigs, and yeah, that is it going to be for the review. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. And my next review f is going to be the Krieger unit, which I did get l alongside of these. Uh, that will probably be in the next couple days. But with that out of the way, folks, have a nice day. This is Pirate Arden signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.